Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank. If you're new, feel free to hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this episode. Last time out, if you did not watch, James Kingpin Price had a dominant victory in the first round. I recommend going back to watch that one to get caught up and I'll give you some time to do so. I'll see everybody when we travel to our new location to learn another new move. And we are back let's once again, Bishudo MMA. It's that time and the special move we will be learning is the knee bar that can be performed from guard tight top a really nice submission and i think that one might be one that they would not be able to stop us in or we can go for the climbing arm bar which honestly looks a bit more pizzazzy and i think i will go for the climbing arm it's bar instead boom nice and easy and i guess take down right and submit is that what we're wanting to do here submission i think so they just want us to get a nice easy submission we're looking for the kimura no surprise here we're looking to attack that arm and it could be all over and it is wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute and there it is the kimura I locked in tight that. beautiful that's the way you have to do it and now the arm bar submission is unlocked for james kingpin price if we use that move against this opponent and land that one and actually get it pulled off I will be very happy about that. All right, so my opponent, he will be having a good ground game as well. So my main thing right now is to work submission, submission, submission. Every time that we can find a choke submission or a leg submission, we will have a really good chance of winning it's this time. fight. Let's look for that choke. Nice and easy, it should be now. I mean, James Kingpin Price is pretty wired in on his choke submission game. And it's gonna be pretty tough for our opponent if he gives up his back That's to even get loose. Below from a submission of that caliber. Now we're just gonna sim these drills. I really wanted to upgrade my submission game simply because our opponent has a 93 ground game. So it's gonna come down to who can control the ground more and who can fight better off their back. Now, if you don't you have any BJJ do experience, you you're gonna get smoked against a ground fighter. We know Kamaru Usman, he's not that great off his back, but when he is in an offensive position, he is pretty dominant, right? So we're going to look to face off against Neil Wong in a contender fight for the Strike Force belt. The winner of this one, surprise, surprise, will go on to fight Alistair Overeem for the heavyweight Strike Force championship belt. All right, everybody. I'll see all y'all out there when it's time to punch Neil Wong in the mouth. And I'm happy to be joined by Live from the HP Pavilion. We'll see Neil Wong make his walk. The man from Calgary, Canada, looks ready to come out here and get the victory. The brawler. We'll find out if he can against the man, the myth, the legend, James Kingpin Price. Riding a 15-0 streak, will he be stopped tonight? We've seen a few times where he's been in trouble, but has prevailed through. I believe he can do that tonight if he's in that position. But our opponent here is pretty good on the ground. 6 and 5, 240 versus 6, 4, 2, 52. He has the weight advantage, but we have the height advantage. And here is the official intros. We thank you for joining us at the HP Pavilion. This fight is scheduled three rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a brawler, Neil Wong. All right, looks like he's giving respect as well. I can and appreciate now, that. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red. Big John McCarthy in the back. With a background in wrestling. Damn right. The United States, James Kingpin Price. What? Representing, let's go. James Kingpin Price ready for the 16th victory, and we'll see if they want to tap Are up gloves. Ready? I'm ready. Are you ready. He's ready. Let's, get it on. let's tap them gloves. Asshole, you thought this shit was funny? Come on, bro. He didn't want to tap gloves. All right, he a brawler though. Whoa. He's a brawler, so we're gonna have to really fight. Use the length, Frank. Use the length. Oh my goodness, bro. I can't get out of Sonya on this guy. I'm going to have to really put them hands up. Yo, block, block. Oh my. Come on, James King. Oh my Christ, bro. You're going to end up like that, knocked out in the first round? Your family's watching you. You probably flew him out for this fight. You ain't the champ just yet, but you best fight like it, man. Great reversal. 
Head. Work the face. Work the face, Frank. Deny, deny. Beautiful. Transition. Okay, okay. Just stay here. Just stay here. No need to rush it. He's looking to make moves as well. No need to rush. Beautiful. In a very, very dominant position now. We saw how he had James Kingpin earlier. Looking to the eye and a beautiful one. Good work, good work. Wow, he's working really well. And he slaps me off. Nice. Looking for the clinch and maybe a takedown. Nope. Nice. He tried to go for a hook. That should have been an easy takedown. And he tries to take my, my back, but no luck there. We're going to actually relinquish maybe a full guard position. You know, if you can control the head, you can control the whole body. But there we go. Beautiful. Just getting into a nice position here. And maybe we can actually transition and flip him. We do. A great reversal. A sweep, shall I say. Working the body now. Looking to work the head. There it goes. Now looking to make a transition to the top. Mount. Looking to posture up. Beautiful. Work him. Work him. That's a really good punch. That right hand to the face does a lot of damage. There we go. Hey, don't let me have your back for too long, bro. You a brawler, right? All right, man, we're going to find out. We're going to find out if you're really a brawler. This is exactly how the last man we fought against died in the ring. Good blocks. Hey, man, we can do this all night. I got the dominant position, that's for sure. Looking to deny this, and he goes right back into the full mount. Now he's giving me his back again. I don't want to end this fight too fast, or else I would have choked this guy out already. Don't give me your back, man. You foolish guy. You foolish guy. Now trying to get me off his back, but he goes right back into the full mount position. This one right now might get a little, little repetitive here, but I mean, fighting is not a boring sport, I'll tell you what. Being in a position like this, you don't know how bad it is until you're really there. Let's go. Look at James Kingpin Price, but he's trying to buck me off his back, and he does. Wow, good for him. Little tired now, James Kingpin. Maybe looking for a knockout. Good left hand. Oh, and a beautiful left hook. Looking to slip and a great takedown, but here's a guillotine choke trying it. Ah, I doubt it. I don't think he's got submission skills. I don't really think he's got it like that, and he definitely doesn't. James Kingpin Price now getting out the submission. Beautiful. Looking now to get to a half guard. Great aventation. He's caught with the left. An advantageous position is what I meant to say. Trying to get into the full mount now. Beautiful. Top mount and now a good deny. But he actually bucks me into half guard position. And he reverses it. Really nice. And a good deny on the back for James King Price. Whew. Trying to focus. Good punches. Working them while on the bottom. Not something you see very often, but it's something you must do. Trying to get the rubber guard going. And a good deny. Jumps over as he throws the punch. And a beautiful, beautiful sweep. Now trying to get into the... Wow, good reversal. And a beautiful deny. Maybe, but nope. Does not get it. But what a transition from James Kingpin Price. Really showcasing his boxing skills now on the feet. After that stand-up performance. Oh, Excuse me. I'm saying stand-up performance. He is dominating it on the ground right now, showcasing all his talents. And this round might be coming to an end soon, so we really want to stay back on our back foot and use our actual distance. There we go. Good jab. Beautiful overhand. Having to take him down now because that punch almost leveled Lucas Dimitri. Excuse me. I didn't mean to call him Lucas Dimitri. I meant to call him James Kingpin Price, but if you know about Lucas Dimitri on my Fight Night Champions, then that's who I was referencing too. Also a really good fighter of mine, and a great first round in the books from James Kingpin Price. This is a contender matchup, and the winner of this one, like I said, gets Alistair Overeem. Let's get it on. All right, it's time for round two. Good body kick, good block. He denies my takedown. Looking for a beautiful clinch, but no luck. Now looking to get it. Oh, wow, this dude's pretty good. Good jab, step back, step to the right. Good jab, step back, jab, step back. Coming for the takedown. Ah. I'm circling, coach. I'm circling. I'm circling. He tried me with that overhand. Good left hand. Keep moving. Keep moving, Frank. Beautiful. Ah, good leg kick. 
I'm trying to back him up into this cage, man. That's a takedown. Let's go. Easy. Fundamentals. Fundamentals, man. That's what we're here for. Good transition. Now we're working the face. Let's work it. Going for our knee. I like it, too. Face, face, body. I like it. We might go body, body, head. Body, body. Oh, did not get the head punch off. And a good transition back to the full guard position. Now we're looking to make something happen now. A beautiful transition in the side control. And now the full mount position. And it could be all over for this man. Where's the elbows, though? There we go. Hammer fist. A good punch in. Trying to transition now. And we got his back. And they're talking about how it could be the end for this man. I'm trying to get those elbows off, though. I don't know where they are. Beautiful punches. And I will be looking for the transition to that rear naked choke. They're already talking about it. And here it goes. James Kingpin Price trying to fight the arms. Neil Wong. A good denial, maybe, but nope. No luck. Now looking for a Kimura. Denies it, though. Let's just go for the pound out knockout. Good hammer fist. Man, this dude does not want to go out. Looking for the rear naked choke. Deny, deny. Ah, no luck. Good punch. Let's hold that stamina in. Deny, deny. Damn, he's good. He's a really good uh, opponent. But here we go on the rear naked choke. We're looking for it now. And it could be over. It could be over for this man. It could be over for this man. He's fighting it. He is fighting the double hand submission right now. Two on one. That's the way you got to do it when a man has your back. And this is not a position you want to be in with this man, James Kingpin Price. He's looking for the finish. And you hear our coach on the sideline talking about finish him. Here we go. It's a fight. And here it is. The submission. He taps out. It's over. James Kingpin Price now has a championship bid. An opportunity for his life to change forever. A beautiful rear naked choke. I mean, he was fighting him on that rear naked choke for at least 30 seconds. Maybe even a minute. A long time coming for the victory. And James Kingpin Price gets it. Let's hear the official announcement. A tough fought victory. And it must be said that James Kingpin Price is coming for Alistair Overeem's head. It's that time now for a championship bid. I just want to say, if you enjoyed, drop a like down below. Subscribe for more uploads like this. It's been Frank in the Octagon with James Kingpin Price. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, y'all.